Uh, Hopkins, wow. I mean, it's such an amazing location. Uh, it's like the gem in this, this smaller city uh, on the prairies. As soon as we went inside, I felt like, I felt a sense of welcomeness. And I often haven't felt that way when we go to uh, locations. At least that was a, such a welcoming space for me. And so um, as soon as I walked in, I, I just wanted to stay there. Just my spirit felt really well in that space. I think we really got that confirmation actually very clearly that the spirits love this space, that they have a great relationship with the people that work there. And the people that work there have this understanding that spirit exists. So I think I mentioned this before, but it felt like we were walking into like a candy shop and I was like a little girl in this candy shop because we had people who already know what we know as paranormal investigators. They already commune with spirit. They are very respectful um, and there is a really great example of coexistence between the spirit world and, and the physical world. So that was really uh, touching for me to see that play out in, in that space. I have a long history with the Hopkins building. I was contacted by another organization to do a fundraiser for them back in 2010. I signed on, they promoted it, it got shut down because people didn't want a seance and ghost tour conducted in the city of Moose Jaw. And then it was actually rescheduled by a wonderful group of volunteers and it took place at Hopkins House. When I walked into the, uh, the environment, it was like a warm hug. I was greeted by Gladdy Pierce, who uh, I've come to know over the years. Now, what was interesting about that case was the fact that Rick Pierce, who is the deceased son of Gladdy, came through uh, in a very big way. It was revealed that both Rick and another employee still wander the halls of Hopkins House and really still go there and, and connect with that space, which is always really interesting. Um, for me as a woman as well, it was really great to have these uh, very strong female characters who had dedicated their whole life to such a place. I mean, Gladdy is uh, remarkable. I mean, she's done so much for that place and she has committed herself to her community in that way. Um, you can feel that presence in the walls and, and I really felt that as well uh, after talking to Brenda uh, and, and Minnie Hopkins was there as well and just getting the sense of like females, strong females. Also too, uh, Hopkins is right on a busy bustling street uh, right in Moose Jaw. So we had kind of a hard time uh, getting our sound right uh, when we were doing interviews. And that was quite kind of a challenge, but also kind of funny too. You know, I'd be saying something and then have to be, uh, you know, make it succinct and be like, ah, and then have to go, you know, go on and, and talk. So that was really difficult, but, but also kind of funny for our team. You know, when Gladdy spoke to Rick, because she talked to Rick that night. Um, you could see the warmth, you could feel the connection. I was so thrilled to be able to bring that gift, in essence, to be able to facilitate that communication uh, for Gladdy and to bring back just that moment with her son. It was, uh, it was really, really touching, really something else.